Wagwan Massive, I'm F Ziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now for this video, I'll be sharing a tuna oil. This is the tuna. I'll be using aloe vera, ganja or marijuana, pimenta seeds or pimenta berries, dried onions and dried ginger so first what i'll do i will be removing the prickles from the tuna it's very important that you don't skip this part because the tuna the prickles can get lodged into your fingers next i cut the tuna and the aloe vera in pieces so that's the fruit of the tuna that can be eaten when it's ripe Some persons actually call this cactus plant, but in Jamaica we call it tuna. The tuna is a family of the aloe vera plant, but it is a lot more beneficial for hair and it also helps with scalp conditions. So I'm cutting the aloe vera, I remove the sides. And then I cut the aloe vera into small pieces. I'm just throwing away that end part and I'm adding everything to the bowl. So I'm just showing the texture of the tuna and the aloe vera. You can see the comparison. Next, I am going to crush these pimenta berries so that when I add these to the oils, they will release the flavors. Now I'm adding oil. I've added coconut oil first and now I'm adding olive oil. I just give it a quick stir to ensure that everything is combined. And then I'll add my ingredients.
just ensure everything is immersed well into the oil so that you can release all the properties as soon as this starts getting really hot now this process takes about 10 minutes i just allow everything to cook together and i stir intermittently I choose this method to do my oils because I find that over the years I've been doing oils um, this method the oil actually stays longer it has a shelf life of about six to nine months when I do the heat transfer or double boiler method I notice my oil goes badly very quickly Now I just pierce the aloe vera to ensure that the oils get to seep in and all of that goodness can get to just be soaked up into the oil. And as I said, I stir occasionally to ensure everything is well blended. Now what I did was to put some of the pimento seeds into a bit of olive oil before I transfer the cooked oils into the bottle. Now you want to ensure that absolutely no liquid comes in contact with your oil. That also will help you to preserve or have oils with longer shelf life. So I just strain this and I will transfer this to the bottle. A little of this oil goes a long way and so you don't need to use a lot. There you have it. Tuna and aloe vera oil for voluminous, longer hair. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to leave your comments if you have any questions. And please remember to share, like, and subscribe.